Ah, Bach. Hello and welcome to another episode of Harvest in the Wild. Today I'm going to be playing Bach's mesmerizing prelude for lute. Bach has an interesting relationship with a lute, so he used it I think only twice in sort of his larger scale works, but at the same time he wrote quite a bit of solo music for the lute. Some of this was music that he had already written for solo cello or solo violin and adapted for the lute, but some of it, like this prelude, was music that he wrote specifically for the lute. Or did he? So there existed in Bach's time an instrument called the lute harpsichord. This was a harpsichord with gut rather than metal strings and with a body trying to mimic the sound of a lute. Bach is known to have liked this instrument. At one point he commissioned one built to his own specifications and when he died he owned two of them. So there's a school of thought that suggests that some or all of the music that written for the lute was written for the lute harpsichord instead. It's plausible, certainly this prelude. There exists no manuscript in Bach's own handwriting, so the earliest manuscript that we have is written with two staves, just as you would write for harpsichord, rather than in lute tablature. And it certainly works very well on the keyboard. In fact, it sort of became well known because it was included as one of 13 little preludes in a book of 13 little preludes for a piano. And yet at the same time, this copy clearly states at the top of the page that it is written for the lute. So I will let music historians battle that out. I think certainly some, at least, of the music that says for the lute or that has been attributed to the lute might well have been written for the lute harpsichord, but perhaps not all. And regardless of what it was written for, whether lute or lute harpsichord, I think it's quite appropriate to play it on the harp. The harp I'm playing in this episode is gut strung and certainly would capture some of that sound of either the lute or lute harpsichord. I was introduced to this piece by a student. In fact, the student that I'm staying with while I'm in England when I filmed this episode seemed appropriate. She was playing it on pedal harp with left hand alone, inspired by my cello prelude. And I fell in love with the piece and wondered, is it possible to do it on lever harp? And in fact, it is. So I'm using both hands because at various times I have to change the levers, but otherwise it works really nicely. It's such a beautiful piece. And so, as I say, I filmed it during the stay in the UK. And as I was thinking about where to film it, to me, the lute conjures up images of a bygone era. So the 12th and 13th century troubadours in France or Elizabethan England. And I thought, what would be better than to film it in front of a castle? Always amazing to me because growing up in the west coast of Canada, an old building is one that's 100 years old, whereas this castle was 12th century, so a thousand years old. And my student knew of a, a park that bordered on this, as I say, 12th century castle. It was in the middle of a heat wave, but fortunately by the evening things had cooled down enough that instead of being unbearably hot and impossible to do anything, it was just beautifully warm, this calm summer's evening with beautiful colors in the sky, the castle behind. So I hope you enjoy Bach's prelude for Lute. <laughs> 